the size of a ladybird's clutch bag, <laughs> and the doors and windows are optional extras. Yeah, like that. <laughs> but I like it because it's it's simple. James, it can't even do naught to sixty. Yeah, but it's better than his hovercraft. It is not. Well, it's less deadly. <laughs> Hovercraft isn't deadly. Yes, it is. Listen, Hammond, two points. Number one, I'm the only person in that race who is representing the holy trinity of oil, coal and gas. The holy trinity? Yes, holy trinity. <laughs> and number two, every single city in the world underuses its waterways. They've all got jammed up roads, congested trains, packed buses, and right in the middle, a river with nothing on it apart from a couple of ducks. Yeah, that's because everyone's terrified that there might be somebody on it in a hovercraft. Well, yes, <laughs> I agree, waterways are underused, but the hovercraft is not the answer. It is! No, it isn't, so let's do the news. Tonight, we are staging one of our important races between the car, public transport, a bicycle, and Jeremy's rather fanciful belief that we should travel everywhere on rivers. Yes, we are racing across St. Petersburg in Russia, and when we left the action, Jeremy was in the lead in his uncontrollable hovercraft, James was second in his tiny electric Renault, the Stig was somewhere or other on a metro train, and I had fallen off my bicycle and broken it. <laughs> This is good. Flat out on water. Remaining range, it tells me it's 40 miles, that's plenty. A bit of a jink round him. Oh! -ho. Now you're probably thinking, what's the point of that tiny little car? Look at the size of that road he's on. Yes, yes, of course. But we're not in St. Petersburg proper yet, we're still on the outskirts. When we get near the middle, there's going to be a small alleyway, something built before cars were invented, things wide enough for a horse, and then I shall sweep to victory. The Stig, James and Jeremy were battling in what they thought was a three-horse race. But I had other plans. So you speak English? I do. And you don't speak English? A little bit. Can you interpret? Absolutely. I've broken my...